Welcome back everyone. Thanks for tuning in again. Welcome to all you old subs, new subs, not sub, click sub, loads of new subs. You guys are all. Right, not everyone has massive hills around. Not everyone has mountains around. I want to ride my gravel bike. I want to have headphones in. I want to listen to music and, and just get a fair bit of climbing in. So I come to this deserted fire road and I'm just going to do hill repeats on this. Um, it's only like 68 meters worth of climbing. So I'm going to have to do it a fair bit to turn it into a decent amount of climbing. But, I mean, to me, it's like a real steep average gradient. I think it's like, I don't know, like 9, 10%. No idea, actually. But it's hard. It's short. I figure doing this multiple times is like running up a mountain, right? Because that mountain, you go, you have the long slog, and then you get the long, relaxing descent. Whereas this is like, well, that broken up into very small stages. I've got no idea of how far I'm going to go. It's a very short climb. But if you don't have mountains, you know, you can still get a fair bit of climbing in. And if you don't have hills, you know, and this is local, it's really close to my house. So I'm going to stop chatting and I'm going to start getting some climbing in and try and get an idea of how much I'm going to be able to do. I've got an hour and a half, so I'd like to get to a thousand meters. Can you get to a thousand meters of climbing on a really tiny climb in that time? I always give myself these stupid challenges. As you can tell, I've already done it once. So I'll go back down to do it again. I mean, this is why I picked this location, right? Like every every time you hit this, I mean, it's steep, it's horrible, but look, just makes me smile. Right, back down again. The thing that makes this hard is the fact that it's so steep and my gearing isn't the lightest, so I have to try a lot harder than if I were doing a 6% clock. <laughs> I think my descent time is like under a minute. So you only get like a minute to recover between each attempt. I've honestly got no idea why I'm doing this either. Seemed like a good idea at the time. I guess for me, it's a fun way to train. It just kind of changes it up a bit. By 13%, I have to hold 300 watts and talk to you guys. It's pretty hard. It's just fun, right? I just want to get to a thousand meters. I'm going to turn this little gravel climb into a mountain. I will. basically halfway through. I think I'll be going for probably about half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. Whew. I've always wanted to try Everesting, right? But is it too boring to do it on the Zwift? I mean, I need to be really dull. I mean, I could do it on a really short climb like this, that'd be hard. Would you guys find it boring? Because <laughs> essentially, I think you have to ride up and down the same hill until you do it. That would be a lot of climbs to this one since it's only 0.4 kilometers long and like what, 60, 70 meters of climbing. Eek. Oh, there's a little hairpin in it, it just kills me every time. So it's an average gradient of 12.8% and it's only 0.4 kilometers long. So it is really short, but I mean now, my mind is 17% gradient. <sighs> Just hit 800 meters, so that's like uh, four more. Stoked. Is it weird that I love this stuff? I was talking to Juliet about it, and if her response is normally like, Are you mad? 
I'm like, yeah, right, I'll go and do that then. She has like, a oh, good idea. <laughs> Right, so quick summary. That was an hour and 49 minutes, an hour and 49, 1,000 meters of climbing, 26 kilometers. Cool, right. <laughs> Total random one, but this is what I do for fun. I'm looking forward to an epic long ride this week. It's gonna be fun. And hopefully I'll get some more news about, um, yeah, my exciting projects. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Go out to your local steepest climb and ride it as many times as you can. Cause look, it's fun, it's great fun, right? <laughs> See you later, thanks for tuning in, bye.